serious intensity. Gary Ricketts, Iron Storm of Chesterfield, Derbyshire. This guy is massively experienced, a huge light heavyweight. Drops weight for the light heavies from the heavyweight, and he's a multiple British national champion. His opponent is making his debut in the Super Series. Lasse Kickbush is the Danish light heavyweight champion. 5'10 and a solid 95 kilos. He's giving away weight in this match, but has a tremendously powerful hook. Gary Ricketts will love that because this man thrives on the power battles. Ricketts is the man in green. Lassie Kickbush trying to get himself revved in blue. A little bit smaller man, Lassie. But he loves to wrestle with power. And for once, that really suits Gary Ricketts. Ricketts, if he can get hold of a man, can usually do big things with them. So powerful. Like a bulldog. In Chesterfield, Derbyshire. The other big advantage that Gary has going into this match, he's massively experienced. The Super Series is his home. Professional former arm wrestling is his home. Lassie is making his debut, and the nerves will be jangling. And straight away, you see the teeth that Kickbush has. He can hold up Gary in the power, and he looks quite confident there. But Gary has a lot of gears, and he will start to go through them as the match progresses. Big, big drive off the start. And Lassie must be tiring. He's easing off, and it's Ricketts with the win. Cool. He's got a you know, big hand on him, uh, powerful. And I certainly knew straight away he was going to try and hook me in. Uh, so I just got the hit in uh, and it into his fingers and managed to open him up. Now it was so evident there in that match that you could see Lassie Kickbush had a lot of power, but he didn't want to burn it all out in that first battle. Martin Vordak of the Czech Republic, high tower, working in his corner. And stretch Martin Vordak, six foot six. And you can see the difference, and that gives you some perspective on our Danish athlete today. Not the tallest man in the world, but a lot of muscle packed onto that frame. And Lassie Kickbush, what a great name. I think uh, the Danish competitors in the crowd and Danish fans in the crowd will be hoping he changes that name to Lassie Kick Ass in this match and get some serious smoke under Gary Ricketts. And believe me, the Dane has got teeth. This guy has the power to do big things here today. But Gary Ricketts, massively experienced, will be trying to prevent that. And it looks like he's going for a top roll and does. He obviously felt something in that match, the first match that he didn't like. And he reversed beautifully there. Top roll in the Dane. Big, big hit. Gary Ricketts didn't want to go into the power on that occasion. And he takes it to 2-0. And Lassie Kickbush... Struggle to maintain his hand control, and he's being advised upon that from a man who knows all about hand control. Stretch Martin Vordak is a top roll specialist and will be advising the Dane on how to prevent that. And it's not often you see the man in the green shirt go for uh, a technical match, try to top roll an opponent. So, to the credit of the man in the blue shirt, that shows you just how strong Lassie Kickbush is. Ricketts asking Richard Poole, our referee, to uh, reposition his opponent and show his thumb. Kickbush in blue, Ricketts in green. The Englishman leading by two pins at this stage. A great start on home territory. And again, a top roll attempt from Ricketts. Look at the determination as he drives over the hand of the Danish athlete and straight to the pad. Gary Ricketts in command in central London. Big top roll. Now look at the effort and intensity that the Englishman put into that and then drives down with those huge forearms, keeping hand control, and much though he struggled to uh, try and prevent that, Marcy Kickbush was unable to do so. 3-0, Ricketts in London at the Sports Cafe. Tremendous atmospheric venue in central London. Gary Ricketts looks composed. He's struggling there. Love, you love the accent of Gary Ricketts. I've got an accent, but Gary Ricketts makes me sound like I am an educated young man. Tremendous stuff. Gary Ricketts leading my through. All good stuff. And Gary, if you meet this fella outside the sport, lovely individual. He looks like a genetically modified 
member of the cast of EastEnders. But I can tell you, he definitely has got serious horsepower. And look at this from Lassie Kickbush. If he gets that power down, the Dane is brutally strong. Driving down. And Gary, no shortage of power himself. He's hanging on to this match. Now Ricketts will, I'm sure, start to drag, and he does. Huge attempt at a recovery from Gary Ricketts. And Kickbush is being opened, inch down to the pad. Oh, what a recovery. Gary Ricketts from the jaws of death. He was in all kinds of trouble. But as we've seen him do so many times, that big shaven head swells up with blood and he drives down to the pad. And Gary Ricketts managed to drag open Lassie Kickbush. Andy Barker in possibly the worst hat in Europe, working in the corner of Gary Ricketts. I hope that Gary's not too disturbed by Andy's hat. Not often you have a man of Andy Barker's quality working in your corner. But his advice may be a little bit torn down because he's got an air sock on his head. Gary Ricketts at the moment is in cruise control. He knows now he can't lose this match, but I'm sure he'll take away from this match a couple of things, and one of them will be massive respect for the debutant opposite him in blue. Lassie Kickbush. The first time we've seen the Dane. I'm sure it will not be the last. Lassie is very, very powerful in that hook. I thought he had Gary in all kinds of trouble, but one thing he did show there is that he has got venom and he's got the ability to do big things if he can get where he wants to be. And it's going inside again, so he may just get the chance. Gary Ricketts starts to apply the power now, but this is better from the Dane. Lassie Kickbush remains close, remains tight. He starts to work his own press. What a powerful move that is. And it's a press from Lassie. The Dane is on the board. And when he shoulder pressed me, you know, there wasn't a lot I could do about that. His arm power, he's, he was deep in the hook there, and he, he took some getting out of it. He certainly did take some getting out of it. It was pretty dug. A massive press. And Lassie looking for that shoulder press there. He secures the drive, starts to power down, hammer down. And at that point, he knew he was going to take the pin. And to be fair, I think Lassie Kickbush deserving that one. Good advice from Andy Barker. He certainly can arm wrestle. Andy telling Gary to stay tight, maintain his position, and that's great advice. That's exactly what he needs to do. Now, Gary Ricketts has his foot come off the gas a little. Lassie Kickbush has his foot gone on the gas a little. Oh, it's another top roll attempt from Ricketts. Lassie struggling for all he's worth to prevent it, but he's going to struggle from there. He's been top rolled by Ricketts, and Ricketts now edging down. That is a win. Losing position, and Lassie doesn't question it. I think he's happy to be on the board. Big, big hit from Gary Ricketts. Look at the effort from the... Danish athlete there trying to reposition himself behind and kick in with that tricep press. But in doing so, big, big drag from Gary Ricketts. And you can see Gary had that one won, the elbow foul in the losing position. Ricketts with the win. Gary's a strong guy.